Hey everybody, this is Qualzy here, bringing with you another brand new hero on Heroes of the Storm PTR. And today we're going to be looking at Ana. Whoa, nice artwork. You got Ana in the background, you got Junkrat, there's a Scarosh, Ariel. Nice, they look pretty cool. Yeah, just like the Ana trailer. Now, Ana, she's a veteran sniper, long range, and from the Overwatch franchise, so let's go and take a look. Range support difficulty hard. For Q, healing dart, mana 15 cool. Wow, cooldown 2 seconds, wow. Every 2 seconds, fire a dart which heals the first allied hero hit for 250 health. Nice. Biotic grenade, 50 mana, 16 second cooldown. Toss a grenade at the target area, allied heroes hit. Are healed for 175 health and receive 25% increased healing for four seconds. Enemies hit. Enemies hit take 60 and damage down. and receive 100% less healing for two seconds. Wow, that's gonna nerf a lot of other healers. That's a counter. E sleep dart, 50 mana, 14 seconds cooldown. Fire a dart that puts the first hero and, and the first enemy hero to hit to sleep, rendering them unable to act for three seconds. Sleep effects end instantaneously if the target takes damage after Need the first 0.5 seconds. Wow, so it's a stun that puts them to sleep for 3 seconds. Yeah, and you have to make sure that you don't wake them up too. Her ults, nano boost. Mana 40, cooldown 50 seconds. Instantly boosts an allied hero, restoring 0 mana. For the next 8 seconds, they gain 30% spell power and their basic ability cooldowns ch recharge 150% faster. That's really good to nano boost uh, mages. Jaina, Kael'thas, cooldown, Li Ming, any mage. Kael'thasan. That's really good. The other one, Eye of Horus. Mana 75 mana, cooldown a minute. Assume sniping position, gaining the ability to fire up to 8 specialized rounds with unlimited range. Rounds hit the first ally or a he enemy hero or enemy structure in their path. Allies are healed for 300 and enemies Need are damaged for 175. Deals 50% less damage to structures and is unable to move while Eye of Horse is active. So it's an AoE sniping round. Where you can either hit your ally, your hero from far away to heal them, or damage, or damage an enemy. I could see this as a finisher in case you see an enemy in a team fight, and let's say you died as Ana, and then you respawned, but there's still like a team fight going on. You could, you I could do Eye of Horus from base and just fire down. all the way back to help out your allies, or to, or to finish off a, a, a kill by sniping them far away. Her trait, Shriek, Shrike. Strike if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Basic attacks apply a dose of non structure and it apply a dose to non structure enemies, dealing an additional 44 damage over 5 seconds and stacking up to 5 times. That's pretty cool. So every basic attack basically Need just does more damage. Check out her skins. Basic blue and silver. Not bad. The red one looks pretty cool. A little bit of an orange hair. The red one looks pretty nice. It's like lipstick, and it's a darker color. We got purple with blue. The purple one looks pretty cool. This neon green looking one looks pretty nice too. Green and white. I didn't come out of retirement just to stand around. This one looks nice. Uh, this one looks really cool. A yellow, golden, orangey like look. That looks pretty cool. And then we got the Shri the the Shrike skins. She's got a mask and looks a little bit more cybernetic. The red one looks pretty cool. The red one pops out more. And this one looks pretty nice too. The yellow one. The yellow Need one enhances the blue. And then we got the red black version, which is like, I guess, a red black version of this one. That'd be over here. And this must be like a really exclusive one. This must be a really good skin. And she has the Overwatch symbol on her shoulder. You can see it right there on her left shoulder pad. Oh, on both shoulder pads actually. I didn't come out of retirement just to stand. Yeah, there's around. Overwatch. She has the Overwatch symbol on her on her um, shoulder pads. That looks pretty cool. Her abilities. Let's go over the talents. At level one, she's got three different quests that she could pursue. One's for the W, grenade calibration. Hit enemy heroes with basic grenade. 
reward. After hitting 10 heroes, Spiota Grenade does 75% more damage per allied Someone and enemy hero you? hit. After uh, at 20 heroes, after hitting 20 heroes, Biotic Grenade's duration on allies is increased from 4 seconds to 12 seconds, and its healing radius is increased by 100%. So that's really good, especially if you're in a lot more team fights. You want to do one grenade, and then you just keep queuing them with your darts. That way they, they stay alive. And for her E, Piercing Darts. Hit heroes with Sleeping Dart. After hitting 10 heroes, Sleep Dart now hits 2 heroes, and its range is increased by 50%. That's pretty good if you want to go on the front lines and be aggressive. The third one, after hitting 20 heroes, Healing Dart now hits 2 heroes and its range is increased. Wait, after hitting 20 heroes, Healing hits 2 heroes and its range is increased by 50%. So roughly it sounds the same as the second one. The second one says after hitting 10 heroes, Sleeping Dart now hits 2 heroes. Someone to tuck you in? And its range is increased by 50%. After hitting 20 heroes, Oh, it says healing dart. I'm sorry. This is like a this is like a double whammy right here. Piercing darts. After hitting ten heroes, sleeping dart now hits two heroes, and its range is increased by fifty percent. The third one says after hitting twenty heroes, healing dart now hits two heroes, and its range is increased by twenty percent. So all darts will be piercing. So it'll be your Q and your E. That's pretty good. I, I would prefer I this quest. This one's more for AOE. This round. is a this is a better quest. If you want to master your Q and your E. The passive detachable box me uh, magazine. Stack five doses on an enemy hero. Reward after reaching maximum dosage five times. Doses deal 50% increased damage to enemies with five with five doses. So you get more aggressive like that. The third one after reaching Need maximum dosage 15 in? times, unlock the active reload ability, which can be activated to instantly gain three charges of healing darts. Wow. So you could be like, so if you're if you're a very if, if you're aggressive at landing your basic attacks, and not just stay in the back line healing, but you want to do more basic attacks with the enemy, I mean with the in the team fight, this was more this is more of your quest then. Level four airstrike activate to use biotic grenade a with a 200% increased range, but grenades thrown this way take four seconds to land. Passive reduced biotic grenades cooldown by four seconds. That's not bad. If you're really passive about it. Overdose. Passive. Hitting enemies with sleep dart and biotic grenade applies two doses. Okay, two doses of the of her basic attack, the poisons. So you could do a little bit more damage that way. Here's a trait. Need someone to tuck you in. Aim down sights. Strike can be activated to increase vision radius by 100% and basic attacks range by 2, but reduce movement speed by 20%. Lasts until cancelled. That's not bad if you want to finish someone off. I wouldn't recommend it if you're if, if, given the fact that she has low mobility. Level 7. Temporary blindness. After sleep darts effect wears off, targets are blinded for two seconds. Wow, that's a nice one. Nothing go nothing wrong with having a um, <coughs> Nothing wrong with having a lingering down. effect after this after this the stun wears off. Mind numbing agent. Every dose a hero has re has reduces their spell power by 50%. Wow, this is good if you're fighting mages. You can really nerf the mages with your basic attacks with this. An active ability. Deb debilitating dart. Cooldown 45 seconds. Activate to fire a dart, which reduces the damage dealt by the first Need enemy hero. It hits in? by 50% for 4 seconds. That's pretty good. I'll go with any one of these. I'll go with temporary blindness. Just be more aggressive. Level 10 is her ults. Level 13 is for one of her is one of, is for one of her uh, healing darts. It's for her healing darts at Q. Speed Serum. Healing dart grants 25% movement speed to affected heroes for 2 seconds. This is good if you want to chase down people or if you're trying to run away from someone and you want to you run faster. This would I help. Come out of retirement just to Purifying Darts. Around. Healing dart removes roots and slows from the target and heals for 20% more, uh, more when doing so. That's pretty good, especially if you're fighting against someone who has a lot of snares and stuns. Smelling darts. I mean smelling salts. Healing dart removes stuns from the target and grants the 50 armor for two seconds when doing so. Okay, well these two are more helpful just because it depends. You it, if you want to save somebody from a team fight in case there's snares. This one for dart for um stuns, and if there's and if it's like a team of specialists without much snares or stuns, then you could go for movement speed. Level 16, Sharpshooter. Healing Dart's healing is increased increased by 5%. Each time it heals a hero up to 50%, 50 
This bonus is reset if healing dart fails to hit a hero. That's not bad. That way, I didn't come up that way, if you miss your skill shot, at least you can round. at least you can shoot it again. Concentrated doses increase healing darts healing by 10% for each dose active on enemy heroes. So you have to do your doses first on basic attacks, and then you and then you use your Q to heal someone. Contact healing biotic grenade heals for 30% more per allied and enemy hero hit. That's not bad. If you yeah, get, that's not bad. Level 20. Need someone to tuck you in? The nano boost, nano infusion. Allies affected by nano boost heal for 50% of spell damage dealt. Wow, that's pretty good. So not only do you boost up the spell power and the cast rate and the cast time of your um, of your mages, but you could even um, but you even give them spell vamp, and they could actually heal themselves with their spell damage. That's pretty good. That would that would be really good with Gul'dan, because he could keep gaining mana on himself. I didn't come out of retirement Ca costing him his heal around. and then you could use W which would do spell damage and it would heal him instantaneously ballistic advantage eye of Horus rounds explodes upon impact healing nearby allies for 300 and dealing 150 damage to nearby enemy heroes that is perfect for for um, team fights I can see a lot of people getting that one for team fights you heal and you'll do damage need someone to tuck you in for a trait some Somnolent doses. Upon stacking five doses, heroes are put to sleep for uh, for two seconds. Uh, once again, if you're more of an aggressive frontliner and you want to use your basic attacks to do poisons, you could totally do that. I can see two different builds already. You could do a, a pure Q healing build, or you could do like her basic attack trait um, aggressive build. I Dyna didn't come out of retirement just to spend Dynamic shooting. Down. Basic attacks increase attack speed by 10% for 4 seconds up to 100%. And it's roughly like um, Nexus Frenzy. Custom optics. In increase the aim down sights. Basic attack range. Bonus from 2 to 4. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we're going to give all, the all these a try and see how they work. Need someone to tuck you in? So let's give her a try. Let's see how Ana is. Now I haven't really done this that much with supports, because in the training mode you have a you have Malfurion to help you, so he's not much of a damage person. He's not much of a damage hero to really heal. So we're gonna try using this little healing dummy that's over here and see how much healing we could do. There's the Q. It's a skill shot. Low cooldown, really low. And there's the W. The body grenade and. And the sleep, uh, and the sleep has a low cooldown too. Tomorrow. So she is all skill shot, but look at that range. Already a heal. And there's the doses, applying doses to multiple people. And he is down. Let us try. First, we're gonna try the aggressive minute. Uh, the aggressive. Um, Ana, and then we're gonna go for the for the heal. So let's go with these doses. I'm gonna see these stats. There's already a stack. One out of fifteen. Twenty. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. We're gonna go with this one. Let me see what sleeping dart about a grenade applies to. I would feel this tomorrow. Choose a talent. One, two, three, four, five. More poisons. Blessings And then look, they cannot be healed. On the move. Cool, it goes through structures. You can even snipe from you can even snipe through the buildings. It only hits the first enemy hero or the allied hero. It only hits one person. An excellent heat. Where's Arcus at? There we go. So hero due to their spell power. I'll go with Choose this one. And we'll try nano boost. Choose the talent. And I'm gonna go with the movement speed. Choose a talent. I was There's the sleep. For three seconds. Enemy in my sight. It's practically a stun. The sleep's not bad. Oh. And I missed the key. Let's get to work. 
Alright, time to nano boost. And it's not a skill shot, you just select the hero and boom. And the beauty the beautiful part about the Q and the E is that it goes through it goes through structures, see? Like this. It goes through structures, so I'm able to Q from across and no need to worry about the buildings in my way. Luckily, I could use the the grenade on myself. Understood. Sword shatter. Mm, go with choose one. In fact, the now goes heal 50% of the spell damage. I want to give this a try, so we're gonna see how this works. Correct choice. Go enemy. Very well. We're gonna let Malfurion take a little bit of damage, and then I'm gonna nano boost him, and we're gonna see his spell damage heal him. On, bite him, just like that. Heading out. Nano boost Starting to self heal. See, casted his Moonfire, and and he already started healing himself. So I could see nano boost really being a good support um, ult, especially if you're in a team of mages. You can really Let's boost them up. Work. Choose a talent. Let's try the other ult. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. I of horse. Let's Choose see how this talent. works. I want to see how this Choose one is. Choose a talent. And then we'll get the level twenty afterwards. Affirmative. Setting up my nest. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Oh, it shows you the, it shows you the scope, and it shows you who you're gonna hit. It's not even a cooldown, it just tells you you have six. Missed it. Got it. <laughs> you can totally KS with this. This is fun. I can see a lot of people getting this. Oh yeah. Heal you. And then I canceled it. <laughs> this is I would see a lot of people getting this. I I could let's see if we could try it again. Let's see. Toggle the cooldown. Let's do it from far away. I'm just gonna snipe from here. Like let's say you died and you respawn. I'm just gonna snipe it. Let's like go. this. Fire. It's not that hard. The only thing that would be tough is if you got someone body blocking you. If you have an ally body blocking you, when you, someone wants to go for the kill, um, then you're going to miss the kill. Otherwise, people have to like get him. There we go, see? And then you can heal someone back. That's pretty fun. I can see a lot of people getting that ult. You could be aggressive with it, or you could support from it, and you'll be in the safety of your base right here. Let's see if at level 20. Let's see it make an impact. The goat. It says it gets yeah. to do an impact. There we go. Heal. Oh yeah, see? Look, I'm aiming for Malfurion, and it's gonna impact. So it heals him, and it, and it does some damage to Arthas. What if I just shot this automatically? To work. Oh, there you go. I get. I could hit a structure. There you go. See, it does do an impact. It heals Malfurion and it does damage to Arthas. That's pretty cool. If you really want to stay in the back, in the back lines, then you could really do some um, some heals and damage. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Try this one. Upon attacking five doses, here you put an, a, an enemy to sleep. Let's try that. Samala doses. Acknowledged. I'm on the attack. Lights out. One, two, three, four. And he's asleep. That's not bad, especially if you want to do some interrupts. Especially if you want to do some interrupts. Like there's a, like maybe Stukov is like in the back trying to silence everyone. You just go around, start basic attacking him, and boom, he's asleep. Or if you want to like put a tank to sleep just because you don't stop a basic attack like this. There we go. Yeah, sleep. And you gotta wait until the doses wear off. 
On the move. Now let's see what good healing build. I want to see how much healing we could really do with Ana. Choose a talent. I'll go to buy the grenade for Choose healing. Does um. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Power concussive heals. Increase five percent. Choose a talent. And I'll even use dynamic shooting. Bad. Still getting a lot of healing done. I would feel this tomorrow. So I could tell he's. So you could either be a frontliner. Up to the up to the front lines attacking and doing damage with her and applying your sleeps and your basic attack doses or you could just stay in the back line launch your grenade and your Q darts and just then just heal from the background Blessings upon you, friend. increase the speed keep going so yeah she's, she's not so bad I can totally see her being a fun, a fun healer. Um, I would, I'd probably say the hard part is just the skill shots. But if you're good with skill shots, she's practically like a medium hero or easy. And it's not that hard to play. To play. Choose a talent. And like every other hero, I always test them out to see if they could get the mercs. So I'm gonna try it with this one. Enemy contact. And I cannot, and I cannot hit Mercs with my Q. It goes through everything, everything, S structures, minions, Iliads, an ally hero or an enemy hero. And he died. So Mercs, mm, like like man, like many supports, not that good for Mercs. But other than that, I would uh, she, I would totally recommend her as a support or even as a sniper. She's totally cool. Well, that is Anna, everybody. Let's go uh, take a look at her taunt. Now you're putting me to sleep. Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> well, that's Anna, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, brand new hero from Heroes of the Storm. Uh, down in the description down below, I'm going to put in the spotlight. Uh, the hero spotlight of Anna. She comes out next week her, uh, and the next with the next patch notes. I'll put up the link um, on the description down below of the patch notes as well. And um, follow me on, on social media, Facebook, Twitter. And um, like and subscribe this vid this video. And you guys take care. See ya.